Uh, greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here, Light of the World Ministries. Um, just so you know, uh, two days ago, I was feeling okay. And then yesterday, carpal tunnel, or whatever it is, my hand starts hurting bad. And I mean bad. I mean, hurts just to brush my teeth. I guess I'm going to have to learn how to be left-handed. Um, so, any prayers would be appreciated. Um, so, if I'm not answering emails, or if I go offline for a while, you'll know. Because it's very difficult to uh, make videos when uh, hand hurts. I mean, I've, this is, this is bad. So, it seems like every couple of years, every cut about two years or so, I have some problems. I mean, I've, this has happened a number of times, number of times. There was one time I had to quit, get off the internet for like two months. Seriously, two months. I had to get off totally. And it hurts. So, yeah, no, no, thank you. Um, if anybody's interested, I've got some very interesting uh, stuff you can share for uh, PDFs. If you're interested, chaplainbob at protonmail.com, C-H-A-P-L-A-I-N, Bob at Proton, P R O T O N, mail.com. Um, got some really interesting stuff about the um, ingredients in the you know what medical treatment. And uh, I mean, this is from their own sites. Very interesting stuff. So, uh, yeah, stay healthy, people. Very, very interesting. Um, and, uh, yeah, keep me in your prayers. Uh, be honest with you. I'm afraid to post a lot of stuff on uh, You Know Who uh, tube for fear of the channel being destroyed, taken down, or whatever. So just remember, um, I got the free downloads. There's well over a 1,000 Bible studies, and a lot of them. A lot of them are an hour long or longer. A lot of them. So, I'd like to keep the channel up as long as I can. I mean, I know there's a day when all this stuff will be strictly forbidden, illegal. But we're not quite there yet. We're getting there. But the... Uh, we're not there yet. So... All right, I thought I would let you know. Um, my hand starts feeling better. I'll get back to making some videos. Of course, I'm still on BitChute. I think the secret with BitChute is to keep the videos uh, 30 minutes or less. They do not like hour-long videos. And, of course, World Truth is okay. But uh, they're having teething problems. And I'm sure they're having denial of service attacks a lot. Also, um, I do. I am on Gab. I mean, I'm not crazy about Gab, but I'm there so that if something were to happen uh, to my YouTube channel, you could go to Gab and then find out, you know, whatever. I'm also on Odyssey. Uh, I'm not really doing much with Odyssey. I just had them copy some of my um, videos off of YouTube, which they did automatically. All I had to do is set up an account and then say, oh, okay, here's my YouTube videos, copy them. Uh, but they were only certain size videos that they would copy. They wouldn't copy the big ones. And they only copied uh, like 500 videos out of the 1,500 or whatever I have. I don't even know how many I have. I lost track a long time ago. Um, all righty. Take care and uh, stay safe. Um, 
I think I will do another video soon. It's going to be on um, uh, things that we should know as individual believers in case we are put into a camp or the wilderness. I have a feeling that the remnant is going to be put together by the Lord. And whether or not the Lord wants us to go to a, a camp, a quarantine camp, you know, all the people that believed in the pre-trib rapture, uh, you're going to have to be able to tell them, hey, your pastor lied to you, dude, or gal, you know. Didn't Paul warn about wolves in sheep clothing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. And there's probably about a dozen Bible verses that we should all memorize. And trust me, I'm as guilty of not doing it as anybody. There's a few Bible verses I know by heart, but not many. I have not spent a lot of time memorizing Bible verses because I'm a, I try to be a generalist. You know, I, I try to know a little bit about the whole Bible, which is three quarters of a million words, people. That's a big book. You think about it. You know, I'm not an expert in any one section or area or topic, but I try to have a well-rounded background in any kind of subject that's in there with the ability to find more if need be. You know, somebody asks a question or whatever. But um, we should be able to defend the faith. You know, and people say, well, it can't be the mark of the beast because we're still here. We're we're supposed to fly away in the pre-trib rapture. Well, wait a minute. The word rapture is not even in the Bible, for one thing. Uh, resurrection is. Uh, thank you, Jay. You know who you are. And, um, you know, so we should be able to defend it. And, you know, when you go, if, if there are camps or if there is a racial genocide of a certain race, well, those are going to be the people that you'll be able to tell them, hey, time of Jacob's trouble. Jacob Israel. Yes, there's a Bible verse about the time of Jacob's trouble. But everybody thinks it's a, another group uh, that deny Jesus by Bible definition that are anti Christ, yeah, and, uh, you know, they they got everything totally mixed up, and the church world is so, so bad, you know, it's just unbelievable. So, I am uh, going to uh, probably do a video, and I'll post uh, some Bible verses that all of us should know. All of us. And then if we go to a camp or the wilderness, whichever it may be, we're going to meet other people. And, you know, the people are going to be asking, why is this happening to us? God loves everybody, doesn't he? Uh, one thing I hate is universalism. You know, you read Genesis God totally rejected Esau, Jacob's brother, Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, totally re rejected Esau, Old Testament and the New Testament. He was rejected. And then um, Ishmael was Abraham's seed, and God blessed Ishmael, but God told him, Abraham, God told Abraham that Ishmael would not be the chosen seed. He said, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Did God hate Ishmael? No. But he wasn't going to be the chosen seed line. And then when people say, well, you know, God loves everybody. Well, they're idiots. Or they're deceived. Or they're deceivers. And all these people that Never bothered to pick up a Bible, but boy, they can tell you what their favorite sports team stats are. 
boy, did you see quarterback so-and-so? Wow, he threw 32 passes with a 90% completion record with no interceptions and five touchdowns. He's incredible. You know, if that's your idol, well, don't be surprised when uh, the uh, Lord doesn't answer your prayers, you know. So I'll probably do another video soon. But uh, yeah, please pray for this hand. I I can't. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. Just to sit here, it hurts. Not even using it. And to move it is terrible. Hope I never have to get into a fist fight. I'd be in bad shape. So. All righty, everybody. Take care. And all blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.